Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ching and aloha. We're in Hawaii. No, I'm just kidding. We're actually at California Hotel and Casino in downtown Las Vegas, but it almost feels like we're in Hawaii. This hotel and casino has so much Hawaiian influence from the decor to the food and even the people working here are Hawaiian. Today I'm going to show you the hotel room, the casino floor, and hopefully, hopefully, if the line's not crazy long, I'm here to try their famous oxtail soup. Let's go check out the room. So I am in a premium room. The difference between a premium room and a deluxe room is number one, the size. The premium room is a little over 300 square feet while the deluxe room is a little over 200 square feet. And I believe the price difference is about $20. This premium room has two queen beds, non-smoking, they're fairly large. They come with three pillows. You could always ask for more pillows if you need them, of course. There's a sitting area with two chairs and a lamp there's also a desk and a mirror above it there's a nice size tv and the tv sits on a cabinet with three drawers a refrigerator which is you can bring your own stuff in and i always bring drinks put it in there no charge and there's a safe and one of the best things about this place this premium room is that uh, the bathroom, so it actually is quite big. There is a very large uh, countertop sink with a mirror and no tub but a nice shower with, a, with two doors. And I say that because I've stayed in a couple hotels where it was just one door and one side's open, which is kind of, I, kind of weird. I, I like to close it all the way because I could splash it on in there and I don't want to wet the floor. So there are two doors. Um, often in Boyd Gaming Deluxe rooms, you'll find the hotel, the shampoo, the lotion, and whatnot up on the wall in a big dispenser. But here they actually have uh, little bottles of lotion, shampoo, and conditioner, which is nice. I like the room. This is their closet space, so there's no door, and which I really don't mind. I got my little luggage in there. Hang a few things, iron, ironing board. Okay, here is our view. I haven't peeked out here yet, so, ooh, yay. So you guys, within walking distance, actually if you go to Main Street, there's a bridgeway, so you really don't have to walk outside. So Main Street is right next to us, and Circa is right there. So I'm gonna turn around. This is the room from this end. It's nice. Let's go check out the casino floor and the restaurant. California Noodle House. Okay, I just ordered our oxtail soup. They typically serve it at their restaurant called the Market Street Cafe. And the caveat there is they only serve it from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. So it's kind of like a graveyard thing. I don't eat at 11 p.m. I'm just here to try it. So I'm tired. Like my other choice is to wake up at 5 a.m. I heard earlier that the line gets really crazy. So I thought, you know what? Let me go down at 10 p.m., check it out. I went down there and it says, there's this huge sign that says Market Street Cafe closed for maintenance. And I was like, no, this can't be. I've got to show everyone this oxtail soup. And there was a sign that we can come to their other restaurant called Cafe or California Noodle House. And they were serving it here. So I'm here waiting to try it. Oh, here it is, guys, close up. Here we go, let's try it. I'm gonna be honest, it looks like what Filipinos eat called nilaga, which it looks exactly like this. My mom makes it at home. Let me take a bite. Okay, that's super tender. Really flavorful. Is it good? Yes, it's really good. But the thing is, my mom makes this at home, not oxtail, but she uses beef. It tastes exactly like this, so, or actually a little even better. I'm gonna give a thumbs up to my mom, it tastes a little better than this. So for me to get up like at 11 p.m. to eat this, probably not, but would I recommend it? Anyone looking for oxtail soup, would I recommend it? Absolutely, it's good. If you've ever tried it before, let me know, and let me know if you liked it. Other restaurants and bars include Redwood Steakhouse, which serves steaks and fresh seafood. Market Street Cafe is where you'll find the oxtail soup. 
but they also serve American food with an island flair, of course. Here's a quick peek of what it looks like inside the restaurant. Holo Holo is the hotel bar which serves cocktails, brews, and alcoholic slushies. Cal Sports Lounge has a full service bar, poker machines, and it's the spot to catch all the sports action. On the mezzanine level, you'll find Ethelam chocolates for your favorite chocolate treats. Lapert's Ice Cream serves coffee, pastries, donuts, and of course, ice cream. Aloha Specialties serves teriyaki plates, stews, and curries, all with an island flavor. Here's a peek at their menu and the prices. Vegas 808 is like a mini convenience store with a little of everything. Essentials is their gift shop. Ooh, they have an arcade back here. Let's take a look at that. Drop the kitties off here. That's cute. So if you're at California and you want to venture to another casino but don't want to walk outside, Main Street Casino is right here. There's a bridge. Walk down the bridge. And you're there. Here we are, Main Street. I like that option. Take the escalator down from the mezzanine level and you're on the casino floor of the California Hotel and Casino or the Cal as many people like to call it. There are over 900 slot machines on the Cal's casino floor with popular games like Buffalo and Wheel of Fortune. I was pleasantly surprised to see some video poker machines that still use coins rather than tickets. It's so old school cool. The Cal has about 21 tables with games like blackjack, roulette, and craps. As a gauge, I saw minimum bets of $15 for blackjack. Here we go, the pool. Really private. Nice shade right now. Small but super cute. A few lounge chairs. Here is the fitness center. It is located on the 13th floor. It's a little small, but it's got a few treadmills and bicycle some free weights just your basics we've got some towels and no one's in here <laughs> I don't blame them who wants to work out right now most people are on vacation, so. Okay, you guys, it is the end of the night, so I just wanted to do a recap of my stay here. I really liked it here, you guys. It's funny, for a small casino, I typically would kind of wander out and visit other casinos because I would be bored, but I did go to Circa for a second and came back. But um, even if it's a small casino, I'll tell you the number one thing that I like about this place. The people are really, really nice and you feel so comfortable. I just stayed here the whole time. I didn't even wander out. I, I liked it that much. Um, and it is the, it's the customer service. It's how friendly the people are. You really feel at home. I could see how people come back here and just come to this casino. It's because it's where everyone knows your name type of thing. Um, the oxtail soup, it was good. The meat was tender. Um, I added the ginger and the cilantro and it kind of gave it a, like a pho taste. So it's a mixture of a Filipino um, bulalo or nalaga and um, a pho. And it was good. But again, my mom cooks that at home. It wasn't anything that I would get up at 11 p.m. for. But if I was staying here, I definitely would have it again. I definitely would recommend it to other people. So thanks so much for hanging out with me again. Until the next video, stay safe. Bye.